Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Uncle Matt's Cooker Lessons. Going to be making a tomato soup because I've been feeling a bit poorly and that is the perfect remedy. So, tomato soup, a classic tomato soup, using a gastric, which is a classic old French technique where you have a reduction of sugar and vinegar, and it really enf in it accentuates pardon me, the, the flavours, the natural flavours in the tomatoes. Now, this is in the very early stages of March, so uh, tomatoes are absolutely pants at this time of year. I have got some nice looking ones, the wine... The vine smells nice and it reminds me of my granddad's greenhouse when I was a little boy, but I'm assuming that they're not going to be packing much in the way of flavour. I don't even know where they're coming from. Um, I'm going to use some proper tomatoes by using some good quality tinned or canned tomatoes. Always just try to buy the best ones I possibly can. These are Italian. Uh, I don't know if they're the San Marzano, it doesn't say. Anyway. Um, but I want some fresh tomato flavour. What I'm going to do in this recipe is I'm going to half these and I'm going to blacken them under the grill. I'm going to really scorch them and I want to get that sort of that, uh, that sort of caramelised, scorched, almost charred, almost burnt flavour um, into this soup. So uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes, shall we? Okay, so I'm just going to cut these in half, horizontally, through the belly if that makes any sense, lay them on a lined tray, season them, bit of salt, bit of olive oil and stick them under a hot grill or stateside you will call that a broiler until they look like that nice bit of a uh, char on there i'm happy with that it's going to change the flavor completely haven't got time to show you prepping the veg so i thought i'd do it like that you know save time now let's start i want to i want to brown the onions i want to get them sort of caramelized i, I want to sort of go on from this flavor of the caramelized tomato to caramelizing the onions as well so keep stirring away over a medium to high heat. Um, pan needed a little bit of cleaning later on, but that's okay. It's not burnt, it's a fun. You can see there the colors changing, that will have changed the flavor. Tomato puree going in, or tomato paste. And again, cook that out. Before you put the rest of the veg in, cook that tomato puree out for a minute or two. Now that's nice. We're getting somewhere now. This soup is taking shape. Right, so let's get on with the rest of the vegetables. Stop vegetables, really. Celery. I'm putting some potato in mine because I wanted a little bit of body to go into it. A little thickness. You can put a bit of flour if you like. I've seen some people put a handful of um, uncooked rice in at the beginning, and that works as well. So in with those grilled tomatoes. Get them in there, along with the juices that have come out of them. Don't waste any of that stuff. We're going to fall out if you do. If you're going to put any hardy herbs in, I put thyme in mine. Put it in at this stage. And those are a couple of very hot chilies that I dried. Don't know what they're called. I'm rubbish at chilies. But um, that's just with some background heat. The garlic I didn't bother chopping up because it's all going to get blitzed later on. Wine is optional. But I like a little bit of white wine in my soup sometimes. In go the tomatoes. And again, we're going to fall out. If you don't do that, you've got to swill out the cans to get all of the juice and then just top up with water and as this is cooking you can keep adding water if you like you can put stock in there chicken stock vegetable stock it's all fine but i, I think there's enough flavor in the tomatoes so i thought okay i'm gonna make some little croutons to go with this because soup and croutons go very nicely together and then i remembered oh, i made parsley oil a while ago if anyone wants to see my videos it's lost its vibrancy a little bit but that's been in the fridge for well over a month and it's still Nice, so I thought, well, let's use that to make some croutons, and there they are. Do they taste really parsley? No, not really, but they're very nice. Now, this is the very classic method, the gastrique. This is a French method. It is to emphasize the, the acids and the sweetness that are in tomatoes naturally. It just brings more of it out. Reduce your vinegar and sugar. You could use red wine vinegar. I just happen to have that white wine vinegar. Uh, until it's sort of nice and syrupy. And that's that done. Turn the heat off and leave that. 
So I'm cooking this until I think the potatoes need to be cooked, otherwise I won't be able to blitz this up. And uh, they're ready. So in with a stick blender or immersion blender. Sorry about the, the cable in the video, that looks pretty unprofessional. Terrible. And um, yeah, yeah, blend. Blend until you're happy with it. I was considering putting mine through a sieve afterwards and I thought, no, I want some texture to my soup. So I decided to just blitz it until I thought, that's looking rather nice. And then along the way, right, what's the consistency like? A little bit thick, so a little bit of water. This is you cooking. Chef John, if you're watching, you teach me lots, sir. That's Chef John from Food Wishes, by the way. Right then, in goes my gastrique. I wanted to do that before seasoning because obviously that is going to change the flavour somewhat. So I'm having a taste and thinking, okay, yeah, let's get some plenty and plenty of black pepper. Anyone that watches this knows I've got a fetish for that stuff. And some sea salt going in, kosher salt, whatever you want to call it. And then I thought, yeah, I'll put the herbs in. So I've got some fresh herbs. Basil would be lovely. I've got some chives and some parsley there. I wanted to put that in after I've blended it. So they're in, you know, there's little pieces in the soup. I thought that's rather nice. Have a taste and go, right, beautiful. Well, let's serve a bowl of this, shall we? And it's just looking fantastic. And you can hear in my voice, I've been a bit poorly. So this is a... Uh, this has made me feel a lot better. It's a few sprinklings of chives. That is a balsamic glaze that I've made. It's the same technique as the um, the gastrique, really, just with balsamic vinegar. So it's really thick. Bit of olive oil on the top. Gorgeous. And those croutons. And that is just lovely. Bit of a trendy uh, scattering of black pepper around the side of the bowl, deliberately. And that's it. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Uncle Matt's Cookery Lessons. I hope... If you're feeling poorly, you'll give this a go. I hope you like it. Comment and like and subscribe and all of that stuff. And I'll see you soon. Bye.